Hello everyone, good evening. Uh, welcome to Astara, the Daily Current Affairs. Today it is 6th of December 2023. Let's have a quick review about uh, what are the things that we have in today's newspaper. Uh, so in the front page, uh, there is uh, political news regarding, uh, this is Hyderabad edition. So Mr. Revant Kumar Reddy was announced as the Chief Minister of the state. So this was the thing. So the Telangana Chief Minister now is Mr. Revant Kumar Reddy. Uh, the way in which he, this guy has uh, uh, occupied this position is something very interesting. Uh, so if you are interested, uh, have a look at this guy's story. Uh, one thing that I can say is, as far as uh, looking at him, whenever we have some commitment, when we have some courage, now uh, if we are standing by commitment, then definitely we are going to aspire. So a person who is uh, who has done JPTC membership, directly from JPTC to reach to this position of Chief Minister and the way in which he has captured the power vacuum that was there in the state of Telangana six months ahead or six months uh, before or one year before is something really outstanding. So Telangana was uh, uh, Congress, Telangana Congress was leaderless uh, until one year back but when this man arrived onto the stage he has changed the every, everything. So this is called converting the opportunities our crisis into opportunities and developing this. So at a very uh, early age, we are glad to see uh, him as the Chief Minister. So this is what uh, the Chief Minister of the state is, Mr. Revan Reddy. So we heartily congratulate him and the Congress for uh, appointing this man as the Chief Minister. Speaking about the second news, Michang makes landfall in Andhra Pradesh. It wrecks a work. So this is about disaster and disaster management. Already I have discussed yesterday itself. Please have a look at how cyclones are generated. What is cyclogenesis? What are the conditions which are required for uh, operations of cyclones or generation of cyclones along with this? How the names of the cyclones will be decided by various countries? These are the things that we have to know as far as UPSC is considered. So draft calls for phasing out the fossil fuels. This is about the COP summit that is going to be, uh, that is being held in Dubai, UAE recently. So on the global stock take, uh, the countries have been committing to have one draft to cut out the fossil fuels over a period of time. So in this uh, COP summit, uh, the countries were very serious to reduce the fossil fuel emissions whereby they wanted to convert from one phase to other phase. So this is a thing that we have to wait and watch how it is going to turn out. The news are going to come out uh, as the COP meeting ends. So let's have uh, a look at that when it is developed over a period of time. So defying all the impossibilities in politics, Revat Reddy makes it uh, the chief minister position. So that is what I said. So today in the uh, editorials, guys, uh, there were some good editorials, an experimental political choice by the Mijo electorate. So the voters in the Mijoram has given uh, an, an outstanding victory to a new party. Right, yesterday we have uh, already seen this. Right, the Mijo National Front has lost, uh, whereas uh, uh, these people, uh, the party which has found the government is Zoram People's Movement, which was a regional movement which was started in the year 2017. Now it has ascended to the throne. Uh, this is something which is really uh, spectacular. So if you are interested uh, for politics, PSIR students, if you are interested, you can read it. Otherwise, uh, this is not important. But this was a beautiful article, Ambed Cut Touch and Retaking Social Justice Policies. Now why there was an article today? December 6th is the date at which uh, Ambedkar uh, have become martyr or have passed away. So in this context, they have written about what is social justice concept of Ambedkar, how Ambedkar, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar has visualized social justice to the marginalized sections and to the Dalits over a period of time in the independent India. And after 1995, how this social justice has been becoming a distant dream for this marginalized sections because of the new liberal economic paradigm. So these things were discussed in this. Hence, it is speaking about the thing Arthur speaks about with the changing neoliberal paradigms, uh, even the social justice in order to attain social justice for the vulnerable sections. What government of India has to do is government of India has to shape its policies in such a way that uh, uh, the policies are going in favor of this uh, marginalized sections. That can be done by focusing on the so-called private sector over a period of time. Once private sector is getting uh, a space or once this uh, marginalized people are getting into private sector that is going to change their economic profile which in turn changes the social uh, profile. So this is uh, what the article was, a very good article, please have a look at it, this can be useful in GS paper too as far as uh, your syllabus is considered. Shared, shared blame, this is regarding to the so called recent cyclones which are happening in Chennai and Chennai is inundating. Now, uh, when we ask the authorities what is the responsibility, authorities will directly uh, say that this is cyclone which is responsible. But the editorial is speaking about, this is not only uh, the cyclone, uh, the blame has to be shared 
not only on cyclone, it has to be shared by the inefficiency of the governance over a period of time. The reason is, we have seen these type of uh, incidents in 2015 also in Chennai, but uh, even that is repeating now. So this shows that uh, even after six years or even after heavy rainfalls that Chennai has seen, we didn't expect uh, uh, anything change or there is no uh, concrete solution that was done by the uh, authorities. So our uh, urbanization or urbanization problems has to overcome with the everlasting solutions. This is what the article is speaking about. The next article that they have given is harness to reckoning. This is about major economies seem unwilling to move away from the fossil fuels. So this is regarding about the COP summit and uh, what are the outputs that it is having. No need to read this over a period of time. The articles will come at that point of time. You can focus on that. So subsequently, uh, you have so Manipur is still in turmoil. 13 people or 13 youth in Manipur have been uh, uh, killed and this is something which is uh, causing a great trouble to the country. So Manipur is still in turmoil. New Mizoram government will be sworn in on December 8th. This was another news. Glaciers rank 1 meter a year in, in a decade, says World Meteorological Organization. So between 2011 and 2020, in the last 10 years, we have seen the warmest, warmest years ever extreme events as a result the glaciers that were measured around the world thinned by approximately one meter per year between this so greenland has visualized and antarctica lost 38 percent of ice between 2001 to 2010 this data can be used or uh, in mains answer writing is extremely important this shows that how uh, climate change which is driving a disaster management is creating a great global problem right please read it and in ethics there is one uh, good uh, case study that we have to study case cash for kidney recently the national organ and Tra tissue transplantation authority has started an inquiry into an allegation that uh, uh, Apollo uh, hospital in Indra Prastha in Delhi started uh, having something called cash for kidney which means people from uh, northeastern states they were bought here and uh, the Apollo hospital is uh, taking out kidneys and they are doing uh, this uh, from, from the poor people they are taking the kidneys and they are selling it for the rich people who wants this kidney so uh, this business private group says that the allegations are absolutely false ill-informed apollo says this but a probe has been ordered so what is this hospital group had been involved in a racket enticing people from myanmar to sell their organs for profit so organ trade has been started in apollo this was the news that was uh, arrived in telegram in this context, the article was written. Absolutely, uh, this is chaos as far as uh, the corporate governance is considered. If Apollo is really involved in this, they have to take stringent action on this type of organ trading because this is uh, exploiting the poor to the worst level. Is unmarried women having children by surrogacy an accepted norm as Supreme Court? Not important, leave it. Already we have discussed about surrogacy, that is uh, completely fine. No need to discuss much things. So, Myanmar chief uh, of military seeks political solutions with rebels so this fellow who is uh, ruling the state of Myanmar from 2021 he is not uh, listening to the people but as the political people uh, as the people have come together now he is coming to something called a solution so this is what the democratic victory is as far as Myanmar is considered so Myanmar is again moving back to its democracy by checking these type of dictators in Myanmar so we have to wait and watch what it is going to happen Next, at least 85 were killed and 66 were injured in mistaken army drone in Nigeria. Please have a look at where this Nigeria is present. That is more than enough. In the business space, as usual, every month there will be uh, articles about uh, PMI, right? Purchases Managers Index. So, who is releasing this Purchases Managers Index? Essentially, Global India Composite, right? So, Nikki International is going to release it, and this is in India, it is operated by SP global india so in this context this article was written and they are saying this so no need to go ahead with this just remember purchases managers index will be giving its data every month for services and for industries across the world in india it is given by smp global india composite which is an organ of nikki international now it will give data about industries as well as the service sector from 0 to 100 uh, anything less than 50 is called uh, industries are contracting more than 50 industries are expanding that is the thing that we have to understand gst which was evaded worth of rupees 1 lakh crores has been recovered in the year 2019 and 20 this can be uh, substantiated as an example for success of gst in the country 
Banks write off rupees 10 lakh crores and they have recovered 7 lakh crores in NPS in the last 5 years. This is something uh, that can be used as far as main sums writing is considered. So as far as prelims is considered, please note what is write off, what is difference between write off and uh, wave year, what are scheduled commercial banks, what is NPS, how NPS results, uh, disputes can be resolved. Avoid too good to be true. <coughs> Online deals. Whenever phase two season comes, many people will say that uh, in the online there is a uh, uh, good sale or much of the offers are there. So, but what the report says is all the report, all these people who are promoting this online business, they are saying that uh, we are having our cyber crimes is increasing in the country. This is what they have said. So this is the one that we have. So after this, just remember this study of 50,000 dogs says vaccine not killing is will stop rabies. So the best solution for rabies is not killing the dogs or culling the dogs. It is uh, controlling them with vaccines. The share of women uh, in the police force is 11%. Just remember this only 11% of women are in the police. Next one is the number of the jobs that were created under Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana is around 46 lakhs. And the amount written up by the loans, by the banks, just now we have said 10.5. This can be used in answer writing. The journey towards plastic free world in the text and context space they have given. Just remember one thing, intergovernmental negotiating committee is related to which organization they will ask. International negotiation committee is related to what? It is related to removing of plastic or plastic pollution elimination. This is an initiative of which one? United Nations Environment Program, UNEP. So this is the thing that you have to remember. Understanding how the GPS system works, if you are interested, you can read it. But one thing is important for prelims. So the navigation satellites of various countries, they can ask these things. For Russia, you call it as GLOSNOS. For EU, you call it as Galileo. For China, you call it as Baidu, right? For India, you have Navic, right? These things you have to remember. And for USA, you have something called GPS. So as far as Navic is considered, we already know what is Navic system. So these are the things that we have in current updates today guys. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.